Hey everybody, have a video for you here on a MacBook Pro that really uh, kind of wrecked my brain a little bit. Spent some time trying to figure out this really weird kind of bug. Didn't find a lot of information online about it, so I thought I'd share this if anybody else has uh, the issue. So what we got going on over here is a MacBook Pro A1502. It's an early 2015 with a motherboard 820-4924-A and what happened with it is you got a water exposure, liquid exposure you can see all the sensors are red every single one on there even this one way back over here all the sensors were red battery sensor was tripped all of them were tripped so Standard process, took the motherboard out, cleaned the motherboard, corrosion, it really didn't look that bad. Um, so cleaned out all that out, and I had another full working unit, just like this, same here, same everything. So what I did is first I swapped out the board, put the board on the other machine, that way I know that I have all other functioning components, and it just, just becomes a lot easier to determine if the, you know, the board has a problem or not and did that over there everything worked uh, fine so the board wind up being uh, good to go then uh, move the board back onto this unit and then we had a bad battery the battery was it was showing a percentage but it really wasn't holding any charge because it would immediately uh, just turn off and also wasn't charging battery was bad bottom line so went ahead and uh, ordered the battery replaced the battery and then once we did that, we found that the unit would not turn on with the power button. Now, prior to that, didn't really notice that because this unit is going to turn on automatically if you don't have a battery or you have a bad battery, a dead battery, anything like that, the unit's going to auto just power on. So until we did that, we didn't really notice that problem. And on the test unit, everything was fine as well. So I presume bad battery and that was going to be that. So then that wasn't the case once we put the new battery it would not turn on with the with the power button but it would turn on if you disconnected power it would auto turn on and then the power button would auto shut it off so that was kind of tricky there power button wouldn't turn it on but it would turn it off so kind of scratching my head on that as well so took a look at um if you look at this you know if you look this up you're gonna you know check the uh the keyboard, the keyboard flex, the pins on the the keyboard power, uh, 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 the power pin, which is I believe pin number five, and I mean all of those kind of they checked out. So really, really strange. Again, went back, double checked it on the other unit. Everything worked perfectly fine. So what we did is just by process of elimination, just starting you know started to disconnect. Uh, you know components flexes and things like that just to try to get to the point and when we disconnected the trackpad which you would think has kind of like no relationship apparently it does on this model and after reading um, I didn't find somebody that had kind of explained this whole thing but I picked up little pieces here and there and kind of you know put those pieces together put the puzzle together and that's why I'm doing this video because somebody else has this problem this they're gonna be loving this video it's gonna save you a lot of headache so when disconnecting the trackpad the power button works obviously there's a relationship there but when you disconnect the trackpad then the keyboard doesn't work so this is kind of a two-way situation where um, you could have that problem with a with a MacBook Pro of this year that you know keyboards not working power button works and this would give you a clue as well it could be the trackpad I mean the trackpad or the trackpad flex either one of the two once we disconnected that the flex now it's you know is it the flex or is it the trackpad so replace the flex and we got the same thing then replaced or tested the trackpad you know outside of the unit since I had one here and everything worked so that wind up being uh, the problem the trackpad went it had some type of fault which actually I didn't notice any corrosion anything like visual visually on it but the trackpad had some type of error 
apparently has some type of communication with the board and that failure was causing the power button not to turn on the computer it would shut it down but it would not uh, turn it on so if you guys got this little problem out there that's gonna help you out two things two but again just repeating both if you have this unit a1502 2015 early 2015 motherboard 820-4924A and your computer works and you got no trackpad again you're excluding that your trackpad I mean uh, I'm sorry power button works keyboard doesn't work and you've already kind of excluded you know you've you've tested a new keyboard and you're you know down to the end of the wire you can't figure out what's going on the trackpad trackpad flex could be causing that problem and the problem again repeating what the problem that we had was power button keyboard works power button does not turn on the unit but it does turn off the unit and it wind up being the trackpad so hope that helps anyone uh, out there thanks for watching